This is the world's highest gear ratio gearbox ever created. But can you guess the gear ratio? It's extremely high. And how long do you think it'll take for the very last gear to spin? For example, this other gearbox that I made in an earlier video would take 25,000 years to spin, but this one completely blows that one out of the water. So as you can see, I 3D printed a lot of gears, 170 to be precise. The stand for this gearbox is so big that I couldn't fit it on my biggest 3D printer, the Creality CR10, so I had to plastic weld it together. I purposely designed the holes in the gears to be slightly too small. That way I could drill them out to the exact size. So how does this gearbox work in the first place? As you can see, there are four rows of gears. And this is a little different from my usual gearboxes. So how it works is the rotation starts from here. And you can see the orange gear slightly spinning. So I rotate this red gear uh, 10 times to get the orange gear to spin one time. This orange gear has to spin 10 times for this red gear to spin once. And so on and so forth, all the way down this way here to the very end. Then once it gets to the very last gear, it switches to these two rows of gears. Then it goes all the way down in these two rows until it gets to the very, very last gear. So with that, how do we find the gear ratio? Well, it's pretty simple. The gear ratio of two gears is 10 to one. This is because we have 12 gear teeth on this small gear and 120 gear teeth on the big gear. So basically we take the 10 to one gear ratio and raise it to the number of pairs of gears in this entire gearbox. So since we have 170 gears, that means there are 169 gear pairs. So the gear ratio of this gearbox is 10 raised to the 169th power. But what does that even mean? And how big is that number? Well, here's a photo of the observable universe. The number of atoms in the observable universe is roughly 10 to the 82nd power. So this gearbox has a significantly higher gear ratio than the number of atoms in the observable universe. And how fast would I have to rotate the first gear in order to get the last gear to rotate one time before the heat death of the end of the universe? The heat death of the universe will occur in approximately 1.7 times 10 to the 106th years, or basically this many years. I would have to spin the first gear faster than the speed of light. In other words, this is basically impossible, or I just created a time machine. I'd like to thank my friends over at Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Brilliant is a great way to interactively learn math, science, physics, logic, computer science, and more. There are over 70 courses with thousands of lessons to choose from. I've been working through the advanced logic course myself. To get started for free, visit brilliant.org slash 3D Printer Academy, or click the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Learning a little every day can have a huge impact on your life and profession. Brilliant helps you learn specific skills and how to be a better thinker. Learn by doing with Brilliant's hands-on, interactive, bite-sized lessons.